COVID booster shots were the big talker at Governor McKee's press briefing today. The governor even got his third shot, emphasizing his administration's push for eligible people to get their shot. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones joins us now live in Providence with what the state is proposing for students. Chelsea? So, Mike, it's a test and say pilot program, which would allow for students who are deemed close contact to not have to quarantine. The details are still being developed around this program, but the governor says he's already had a lot of interest. With kids back in the classroom, Governor Dan McKee says he wants it to stay that way. Specifically, we're beginning the stages to exploring a test and stay pilot program. Um, starting with one district with a focus on the elementary schools, He's coordinated with other state leaders like Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker to help implement the pilot that will launch in Westerly. I've been approached by multiple superintendents that um, are looking to get more of their children in the classroom and spending less of their administrative time uh, working under certain quarantine conditions that are currently in place. This coming as the state pushes for eligible Rhode Islanders to get vaccinated. Those who can get a third shot include people in long term care facilities and those 50 to 64 and 18 to 49 with underlying medical conditions. Since last Friday alone, 4,600 people have already gotten a booster shot. Today, last week, we had, I think, the second lowest infection rate in the state, in the country. We had the lowest death rate in the country per capita. This push for boosters coming as the October 1st deadline, making unvaccinated health care workers in violation and ineligible to work. The vaccine protocol for health care workers is crucial. Our health care workers have been have to be vaccinated. Now, the governor also said that the Johnson & Johnson single dose shot was made available to health care workers to assist with that mandate that will be taking effect tomorrow. Live in Warwick, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News. Governor Dan McKee and Dr. Nicole Alexander-Scott talked about how tomorrow will go during their COVID briefing this afternoon. The governor also talked about booster shots, and after the briefing, he got his third dose of the Pfizer vaccine. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones was at the briefing today and joins us now with what the governor had to say about the vaccine requirement for all health care workers. Chelsea. Well, Mike, the governor and the Department of Health believe that booster shots are the best way to keep patients safe. They're even, you know, looking into contingency plans with local health care facilities for health care workers, even including that J&J &J one shot vaccine available to health care workers today. As of the most recent data, Dr. Nicole Alexander Scott says 86% of healthcare workers are vaccinated with full compliance expected Friday. We know that it's the right thing to do to keep Rhode Island's healthy. There have been tens of thousands of healthcare workers who have tested positive, disrupting their ability to work and provide care. The approach with this vaccine requirement is to stabilize that. A lawsuit filed by a team of health care workers was blocked by a federal court judge Thursday, deeming the plaintiffs have not demonstrated a likelihood of success in their claims that the mandate was restrictive to religious beliefs. The vaccine protocol for health care workers is crucial. Our health care workers have been have to be vaccinated to stay healthy. But McKee's focus Thursday was booster shots, which are currently available. Here's who can get a third shot. People 65 and up, people in long-term care facilities, and those 50 to 64 and 18 to 49 with underlying medical conditions. This Warwick woman saying after surviving COVID once, she's ready for her third dose. I'm very happy to be able to get uh, the booster today. All of these things have kept me alive. Last week, roughly 130,000 Rhode Islanders became eligible for booster shots if they received a Pfizer vaccine at least six months ago. Since last Friday, just under 5,000 people have already gotten their third shot. 
Now the governor also highlighting that students are back in class and he would like to keep it that way. So he's been working with neighboring states like Massachusetts to implement implement a new test and stay program and that would allow students who are deemed close contact to test but not have to quarantine. Now this will be launched in Westerly here in Rhode Island, but the governor says he already has a lot of interest from other superintendents. Live in Warwick, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News.